Hello, everybody. I'm the... number 32 in passing defense. Something that was exploited game after game. Detroit, you know, though, those Detroit. guys are tired of hearing about it. Now they just want to fix it. And you fix it with players playing better. We know that. But also you fix it with scheme. You look at what you have and say, can we play the style that we played in 2016? And you and I both know the New Orleans defensive staff. They like to be aggressive. They like to get after the quarterback, put their guys a lot of man coverage. Maybe we'll play a little more zone in 2017, take some of the pressure right, off of the back end of the defense. Lucky 56. Lucky 56. Charles, we get a look here at the key inactives, and I tell you what, a big list for being this early in the season. If there's any silver lining at all, you're hoping you can get these guys back, and now you'll play well down the stretch with them. But what you're also hoping is that the guys will have to play. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Chris Hogan, his first touchdown. So the Patriots coming out now. Last time they were out, they scored. Still trailing here, though, so some work to do. But it's okay in terms of mindset. Because they scored the last time, they're not quite as worried about being down on the scoreboard because now their confidence is a little bit higher. They feel like they've got something going, and they feel like they can attack again and put more points on the board. Are you scoreboard watching if you're the offense, or are you just focused on this drive? We wouldn't be telling the truth if we said that they didn't scoreboard watch. Everyone does it to some extent, but you've got to set it aside right now and just focus on this series. That'll take care of the scoreboard if they punch it into the end zone. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. They're going to have to do something with him. He was so sensational last week, over 200 yards. AFC Offensive Player of the Week, what do you do? You, you hold him? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good start, as long as you can get away with it. Otherwise, just giving up penalties and free plays for the offense. But I think you've got to do a combination of things. Chip at his timing at the line of scrimmage, have extra people in the territory for him. You've got to do everything and change it up from snap to snap. They'll look to throw again. And that's complete to Cooks. He had a great move, but he'll still be stopped shy of midfield. That catch good for five. It's third down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. They were forced to punt last time, and I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're just in a terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot, great opportunity to run your full playbook. They want to take a shot here, they can go ahead and do it. All right, I'm doing my rudimentary math here. That's his third catch here in the first quarter. I don't know if it's just game plan or he's just finding his way open. And maybe a little of both. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. They're going to look to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Brandon Cooks scoring a touchdown against his former mates. And the Pats able to cash in for six. Heck of a start to his season. He had two touchdowns. Tonight, Green Bay visits Atlanta. All sorts of storylines there. A playoff rematch. Also, the opening of Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And then on Monday night, the 
the Giants host the Lions. So the Giants play on Sunday night and Monday night to open the season. Yeah, two under the lights. And a throw good for four. Patriots, Patriots. It's second down. All right, here we go. Three. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. That would have been a great catch, but really difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to hold that one in. He gets it into the hands of Gronkowski, complete. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. He'll try and throw for it here. Got a man, it's Amendola. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. Well, they picked up the first down, but I'm just going to say it. I didn't like it before the ball was snapped, and I don't like it now that they picked it up. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Cameron Jordan in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. He'll drop to throw. Incomplete. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. And the Patriots the gearing up to go now. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Cameron Jordan in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. A rough couple of weeks for the man under center. Five sacks last week, four now this week. Do you try to design some quicker developing plays if you're an offensive coordinator? I think you do that. I think you also change his launch point at times. In other words, move your pocket to the right, to the left. Roll him out, bootleg it. Do some different things so they can't just rely on the fact that he's going to take three to five steps back in the pocket and not have to throw the football. Yeah, current formula's not working right now. And he comes back with one complete. It'll be a pickup of 16, but they'll remain short of the marker, and it's fourth down. Right, here we go. Three, They're going to try and throw. Three, and this is caught. It's pulled in by Gronkowski. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. That's their second, so they'll have one remaining here in this second quarter. We'll be right back. Game clock setting at 2.02, so they'll get one play before the two-minute warning. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. He'll look to throw, escaping the pressure right. That was going to let it go deep right sideline. So the long attempt falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Larry Ridley will have first half highlights and analysis. LR, plenty to show in this one. Going to be a busy man at intermission. And that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. The Patriots offense now, they work their way back onto the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some good plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that can put your team in some jeopardy? He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. It's a four-yard pickup, and they're going to face a third down. Instead of the running back in New England, sometimes they like to call them the passing back. So they get them the ball in different ways, don't they? They certainly do. Think about the ones they've had in recent
this in vintage. You're talking about Kevin Falk, Danny Woodhead, Shane Vereen. James White could have been the MVP in the Super Bowl if it wasn't for a certain quarterback that was on the field that day. Now that definitely hurts because the mindset is getting a three and out there and they don't get it done. They give up the scramble and a pickup for a first down. And this is incomplete. That one didn't quite make it to the target, but that's not always a function of the strength of the arm of the quarterback, is it? Sometimes it's just too much pressure there. In any case, the ball doesn't arrive. They're set up to throw. Looking for Gronkowski, and it's intercepted. Able to get there and pick it, but he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. Emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Now a play fake here on first down. And Cooks has it over the middle. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. A gain of six there on first. On play action, they'll throw. He gets it to Cooks. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. Perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. Here we go now. No, 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 no. Check Patrick. Back to throw now on second and ten. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So flag for the contact, pass interference. And I know that you're going to look at me and roll your eyes, and rightfully so, because you know what I'm going to say. Doesn't the defender have a right to the football as well? No, I just, I don't like defenders. <laughs> That's because you spent too much time with me. Okay, I'll side with you on this one. Here's the crack card. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. It's incomplete. And not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you've been overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. the Patriots. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel oh, good about that. Six. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. <laughs> Gun. They'll look to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more. Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. And he will have the first down as he's up to his 17-yard line. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. 
Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage, look defensively. Quickly to Gronkowski, that's Claw. Give him 15 yards on that one, and New England has a first down. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. And again, he'll find Gronkowski complete. The completion good for three, and it's second down. I think it's okay, though, they didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can stop pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. For Kidder here, it's complete. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. New England on third down. They've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This time they face a third and two. He'll look to throw. He's got an open man. It's Gronkowski. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. They go play action here on first down. And that incompletion breaks a string of five straight connections. And it's second down. to midfield. Let's see. Yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Watch New England on third fight. down. They've converted a third of their opportunities. Three for nine. This will be third and five. From the midfield strike, they look to throw. And Adola with a catch. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. They'll drop the throw. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Cameron Jordan. And look at this rookie yet another pass play. His third sack of the afternoon. They'll make the throw here. There's that man again. It's complete. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. That catch good for five. Oh, no, it's third 56. down. Go on, go on. Go on. Looking to throw. This is complete to guess who? Gronkowski again. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. First down, he'll drop to throw. Allen's got it complete. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Back now here live in New Orleans. Offense has been out there a while. This is their 14th play in this series. Again, he'll drop to throw. This will be caught inside the 10. And eventually brought down, but it's near the 5 at the 6. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. A much better effort we're seeing from him under center this week versus last week when he threw four picks. He has to only run in this game, but you're right. When you cut it down from four. And look at this. They get the turnover they need, it's intercepted. Run it well, and it's picked. And a big turnover there. offense they work their way back out onto the field and they had a nice little drive going last time through the interception in the red zone also. bad enough to throw it anywhere but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about hey we got a shot at points already we're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure and to come away with nothing that's a real tough one for them to swallow yeah will they make up for it and second and ten he'll look to throw again and incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down.
get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, this one has to absorb the contact, and as a result, he's unable to hold on to the football. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And now the football is going to go over, already being placed at the Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. And on that last drive, Winford on fourth turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held him to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here because if we don't get it, and give up more than three, and that's exactly what happened. You think there. that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game. I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Gronkowski, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Well, they're slinging it. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. Allen's got it over the middle. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right in midfield at the 50. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? And incomplete here on third down. So the Patriots coming out now. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wind up going nowhere. And the Saints pressure gets it. Brought down for a sack. Alex Okafor in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. Now a shotgun snap as they lift the throw. Flushed out right. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know there's some really upset defenders on that one. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack.
Jason Witten, the tight end. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. A gain of six there on first. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and then hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice. In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. And how about this? It's the other Brandon Marshall that picks it off. And this one will be returned to right around. Get set to take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but just to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. Let's see how they attack him here. They'll set up a throw. Get him in. Williams and he'll get it up to the 33 yard line the reception good for seven it's third down well if you do read man coverage Brandon the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it they'll set up to throw and that's caught by Beasley and he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42 no, 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 no. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Go on, go on. Go on, go on. He'll drop to throw. And this one caught by Dez Bryant. And he's going to be taken down deep into Bronco territory. A big play here for the Cowboys. 47 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and just types of plays that can knock the defense off balance, that'll drive the team towards a victory. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden it's a little bit of a road here with two Detroit. straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying no more. We're thinking a stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get after him. Trying here for Bryant, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Akeem Tlaib. Past the ten to the eleven-yard line, and that's where the return. for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively. Obviously, two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit. Like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week? Not the one that you're throwing it to? And maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. And Beasley with it. To the 34 yard line. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys that like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45 yard line. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what do you got to do? You got to kind of down focus, don't you think? And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Brandon Marshall. Coming on the blitz. He gets him for a loss of seven. Watch it now, Barney. Barney. All right, here we go. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. On the left side, he finds Beasley. Touchdown, Cowboys! Cole Beasley, his first touchdown of the new season. Here's the Dallas offense now, heading back out onto the field. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. It's caught on the right side, Williams. Terrence Williams. 
And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Terrence Williams, his first Now as their offense gets set to take over. And last time the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up. Whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook, one play drives exactly what you want on offense. But they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was really easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. Back to throw now on second and ten. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. Back to throw here. And that's incomplete. Cowboys. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to pump from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field. Game. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Todd Davis. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Bronco defense has a touchdown. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. Pick six, they go right back to the air. And this one caught by Beasley. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 11 yards for number 11. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on him a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. The Cowboys on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. He'll look to throw. Flush to his right. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy. Make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. Eluding the pressure right. Throw right side complete to Williams. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right in midfield at the 50. That throw good for four. It's Detroit! second down. He was out there waving his arms. And when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you've got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. The offense on third down tonight. They've hit two for four thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. They look to throw here. Down there, and it's complete. Williams. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. That's their second, so they'll have one remaining here in this second quarter. We'll be right back. second quarter. They'll look to throw here on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. 
Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Larry Ridley is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. It feels like they're getting caught in between here because any completions on first and second down, they got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. If you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Complete to Jason Witten. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence. Right, that one is realized there. You've got to find it. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Vaughn Miller coming on the blitz. He gets him for a loss of seven. I give thanks every day that I never had to play offensive line in the NFL and have to try to block Vaughn Miller. He was second only to Vic. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Jason Witten, his first touchdown of the new the Cowboys now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have the lead now. They'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies and try to hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. Looking to throw. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Vaughn Miller in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. The, the, the Cowboys on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is going to be third and 13. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that will fall incomplete. Offense heads back onto the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game. This and the Broncos get there and take him down. Derek Wolf in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. A good pickup there. 13 yards as they get closer for third down. They lift the throw. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Cowboys, and they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't done before. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Akeem Tlaib. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Bronco defense has a touchdown. for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. It's picked up by the Broncos. And he will score. Touchdown, Denver. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And let's just say they're going to be looking to start over on this drive. A few moments ago, they were in the exact situation, but their first play led to a fumble, 
that was returned for six. Yeah, you definitely have to have a short memory to play in the NFL. You got to remember what you did wrong so you don't repeat it. But you can't dwell on it because then you will repeat it. That's what you don't want to do. And an alley to run. And he'll slide down to avoid the tackle. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Dolmatop Heco in there to record another sack. There's six in the afternoon. Now back to throw. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go... Gets set to take the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive of punting the football. Sense of urgency. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by the free safety, Darian Stewart. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception to see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. That correct. No, no pick, just incomplete that time. And he drops it incomplete. No, 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 the struggles no, no, continue Patrick, Patrick. here. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're talking 99% of the time. Ready. Make a play on the football. Ready. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. And he'll be taken right, down, but not six. before he gets into six. enemy territory. Right, yeah. They'll look to throw. It's complete to Williams. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. They'll drop the throw. He throws there incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing no, 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 a lot of no, no. pressure. Patriot, fortunate, Patriot. fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability there to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Playing three yards in the clock does football anymore. I kind of get how those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football, and you're holding your breath wondering what's going to go good. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Von Miller getting him once again. His third sack of the afternoon. Offensively, they're going to have to figure this out before next week. Seven sacks in one game. Yeah, that's more than any quarterback. And now here's another interception. Picked off by Justin Simmons. And the return will stop him well inside the road. And now come the Cowboys. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together Charles a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. And he'll go out of bounds down inside the 15-yard line. 17 yards on the pick up there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. No, 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 no. Jack Patrick. And on Patriot. that last play there, he's over 400 yards Detroit. passing now. Detroit. You know what that generally means? Detroit. Success. <laughs> yeah, that. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Derek Wolf in there to get him. His second sack now of the afternoon. Shotgun snap as they look to throw. And pressure gets to him again. Derek Wolf able to disrupt yet another pass play. His third sack of the afternoon. 
Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. He's going to go deep for Beasley. And that one incomplete. Had some position but couldn't hold on and it brings up fourth down. Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking up.